So if you don't know, you can't smoke weed in the military. And that's something that had caused me to have a short stay when I was in the Marine Corps. Um, I actually went in in 1996 and my MOS was tanks, uh, 1812. So I was out there driving and shooting tanks. I actually started out as a driver and then eventually went up into like a loader before I uh, got kicked out. I was loading like heat rounds, sable rounds and like impact rounds, these large paws, these large as missiles and whatnot, you know, putting inside that 120 millimeter cannon, letting it go, fight. that shit was crazy. <laughs> word that shit was crazy as hell but it was a time we fast forward to like you know 90 98 and whatnot you know what i mean like around the summertime and shit um we in the barracks and there's one thing you don't do you don't do nothing in the barracks and whatnot so i knew a dude that was in admin and he pretty much knew when it was drug testing whatever was coming down he knew what was happening and whatnot so the dude that was in admin was a dude he was from um i think he was from chicago or some shit like that or illinois and whatnot because they get a little annoyed if you say chicago and illinois and whatnot I mean, and then my other man was from Cleveland. There was another dude who who wasn't smoking, um, which is actually still in there today and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? He was from like New Orleans. He used to say the 1.5 board. There was another dude from Atlanta and I was the only cat from New York, from the Bronx and all that, right? So we used to drive out to LA from 29 Palms where we was standing in the barracks at. And we used to cop some nickel bags, dime bags, these little fat bags, however they, whatever the fuck they was. You know what I mean? I didn't know how, I don't remember how much they cost and whatnot. At the time I couldn't even roll up so my man from cleveland he was the one that was doing all the rolling at that time it was white owls and phillies and shit and whatnot but how we used to really get down more or less how i used to get down when he wasn't around to roll it up i used to take black and miles uh take all the guts out the black and miles and stuff the black and miles with the weed and smoke it so this one particular day and man you don't never do nothing at home i mean so this one particular day we in a we in the barracks and and if you don't know anything about the military never been in the military on the war anything like that what what happens is you like you need rest and there's always like one person that's up watching everybody you know or watching protecting to make sure you know nobody sneak up on nobody and whatnot so they mimic that in the barracks so when everybody is sleeping there's always one person up like duty for each battalion and then it's a battalion duty so there's always like somebody up overnight so this time we in my man room like his dorm and whatnot because he was like the only one with, with cable and shit so we sitting there we smoking and we eating and all that the duty walks past and he knocks on the door he smells the weed and that was it for us he wrapped us up and he bagged us and we had to sit in the office the duty office that whole entire night that next morning you know what i'm saying they drug tested us i had got stripped of at the time i was an e3 which is like a lance corporal in the marine corps so if you know anything about ranks or anything like that that was the chevrons with the cross rifles and whatnot on my sleeves they had bumped me down to like a private so it was nothing on my sleeve I was bare naked on my collars and whatnot, so I was a private. And they gave me 45 days EPD, so that's like extra preliminary duty. So 45 days, I had to stay in my camis, what they called it, like the, you know, the uniform, the camouflage uniform with the boots. I couldn't dress in my civvies. They call them civvies. That's you know, regular clothes, your civilian clothes and whatnot. So I had to stay in my camis, and then for the 45 days, you got to clean the barracks. So for 45 days, when I come home from the ramp, what they called it, where, where I was working out on the tanks, we had to clean the barracks and this one thursday it was like 30 days in <laughs> into my my bid i'm gonna call it right so it was like 30 days in and from thursday to sunday we usually party thursdays is like a field day we clean up super clean up and then friday they have the inspection but usually thursday night since friday is usually a light day for us at work we usually go out that whole entire weekend so i had to go out bug especially at that time it was crazy you know what i mean especially going out in california and clubs and all that the shit was crazy i had a lot of fun times and all that right so i catch the bug 30 days days in and I decide me and my man we decide to go out that was the stupidest was the stupidest move stupidest mistake I could have ever done because as we coming back the battalion duty catches us so we scurries upstairs to jump in the barracks I jump in the bed act like I'm sleeping it's like 4 35 in the morning Revely is like 5 30 people usually get up like 5 30 you know get ready for the day and all that so he the battalion duty comes and from there it was over I just switched my energy was like fuck the military I want to get out of here so they had me speak to the chaplain told the chaplain the same thing fuck the military i want to get out of here the niggas kicked me out the next motherfucking day and the crazy part is i had to get home i ain't have no money and they paid us on the first and the 15th and it was in between one of those days i know i had to wait a week or some shit like that you know what i'm saying to uh get paid at least get that last little bit of money and whatnot so me and my man who had got kicked out drove all the way back in some bullshit ass car from 29 palms california he lived in Cleveland, so he dropped me off at Buffalo. And then I came down to 
Port Authority with like 10 dimes and a nickel, some shit like that. Cause it, I bought a token. I think it was like a dollar fifteen, dollar twenty, some shit like that. With all my my Alice pack and the big ass bags and all that, brought my ass back up to the Bronx, humbled my ass and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't change nothing for the world. You know what I'm saying? But what I have now is actually good. It gave me a learning lesson. You know, it made me who I am today. It made it a little difficult for me to find jobs when they see that on my background. But other than that, man, I had a lot of more fucking fun in the military and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So don't smoke weed in the military. Hoorah, devil dog. Peace.